Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Mets on African Motives, uh, still working on Mets for uh, Mets Info, that is uh, actually working on differentiation, so actually we've got uh, the part that we worked on on the product rule, uh, this time we got the quotient rule, which is um, an opposite to what we had uh, previously, where we worked with the product, so product we are multiplying, but quotient which means this time you are dividing. So that's the difference between the product and quotient rule. So we're going to for be focusing on the quotient rule. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Amazon African Motives. So like I said, guys, uh, the quotient rule. So in this case, we shall be dividing. And uh, the formula is also there. Uh, given is also given in your formula sheet, remember last time we worked with the two terms of x which was ux and vx but they were multiplying each other this time they are dividing so how do i find the derivative of this uh, maybe i'm given uh, something like um y is equal to just we just want something that is dividing guys all right sometimes okay let me use this one okay it doesn't make sense for the meantime but let me use this as an example okay uh, someone is wondering why is it dividing okay don't worry let's just write the formula first so this is the formula that you're going to apply when you are using uh, the quotient room okay so this time take note you always is gonna be start with a V you take that formula as it is don't change anything there so you're going to start with the VX this time so it's VX okay the first derivative of you take note this time you start with VX guys okay minus ux then the first derivative of v okay like this so the formula don't worry about it it is there in your formula sheet so what i'm saying do not interchange anything here do not interchange on the product rule you can interchange you can start with this whatever way but here because you are subtracting don't interchange you're just going to write your formula as it is okay so this is what we are gi given on our formula so as you can see it's the same thing as what we had uh, on the product where you you need to know your ux you find this derivative your vx you find its derivative but now from this example which does not make sense uh for the meantime because we're just given a single term but we need a fraction so let's go back to our trigonometry guys remember derivatives and trigonometry they work hand in hand so we know that tan is equivalent to sine over cos so that's going to give us sine x over cos x now it makes sense why because we now have a fraction just like these two they are dividing so what is my ux in this case u is the part that is on the top so my ux is this part on the top which is sine x okay what about my vx my vx is this part which is in the denominator which is my vx is cos x all right so that's what i'm having i have my ux i have my vx so just like in the product like i said you just need to substitute so you need to find the first derivative uh, just like what we did in the product rule guys if you still remember so sine x the derivative of sine is cos x from our formula sheet again it's there uh, and vx for cos okay let me just show someone here maybe you missed the first class that's here this is y and this is dy dx so the derivative of sine is cos and cos is minus sine x these are derivatives you see it from dy dx that's how you see these are derivatives okay so cos is going to give us minus sine x like that all right so it's a matter of substitution now so dy dx is going to make sure that you substitute properly vx this is your vx which is cos x so you're just substituting here cos x times the first derivative of u this one the first derivative of u remember this is u which gave you cos so it's going to be cos x again minus ux ux this is your ux which is sine x times the first derivative of v this is the first derivative which is minus sine x we are going to have minus sine x let me just put a bracket so that we don't confuse others here all right so these two are multiplying each other take note guys everything over vx squared so it's going to be like this vx 
which is vx is cos x uh, so it's going to be cos x like this but take note is what is squared so you're going to square the cos like that all right so you have substituted but it's not fine uh, you need to simplify guys until uh, the simplest version that you can have where you cannot simplify further so which part are we talking about uh, that we can simplify let's see here guys dy dx is going to give us let's multiply cos and cos cos times cos that's cos squared remember cos squared x like this you have got minus and minus which is a plus so sine times sine that's sine squared x so take note guys minus and minus gives you a plus everything over cos squared remember guys i told you in trigonometry that cos squared like this can be written as cos squared x it's just one and the same thing so this can be written as cos squared x it's one and the same thing all right there is a funny thing that is happening here in the numerator here there's something uh, funny there that cos squared and sine squared we know that that's a one okay maybe i forgot this what am i going to do i can be reminded by my formula sheet sine squared plus cos squared is equal to one so that means in place of all this i'm going to replace with one so this is going to look like this guys dy dx is equal to remember we sorry we are going to substitute here on top here with one so it's going to be one over cosine squared x like that all right and someone might say oh, we are done we are not yet done we know that one over cos x gives us sec x but this is cos squared so it's going to be sec squared x so that's your dy dx all right so this is going to be your dy dx now as you can see there is nothing that we can actually do we are in the simplest format that we can ever have so that is what we can actually leave our answer like so these are the typical questions actually that we can see when we are working with the quotient rule when we are dividing uh, so as you can see guys uh, that's, that's 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 how they ask these questions okay so so i'm just gonna uh, work with the the number 80 19 there as you can see uh, the other questions they're just direct and straightforward there all right so let's see there on number 18 on number 18 we are asked to prove that the the x uh, of cot x is equal to minus uh, cosec minus cosec squared x okay and there we are given a hint that cot x is equal to cos x over sine x we're just given a, a hint there so they are giving you this hint so that we can know what you're actually working so this is d dx so you can rewrite this guys as y is equal to cot x so that you don't confuse yourself okay and cot x is equal to cos x over sine x so as you can see it's just one and the same thing like what we did in the previous part so here we are actually proving uh and if you are to cross check on your formula sheet actually the first derivative of cot there is there that is why they say proof because already if you can cross check here cot it's minus cos i are using that the answer is already there but you must use the quotient rule to obtain that answer okay so remember on our quotient rule we are going to have our ux and our vx so our ux this time is cos okay let me just write it here my ux in this case is equivalent to cos x and my vx is sine x which is in the denominator if you are to cross check here in the denominator here so as you can see from the formula there is a need for you to find the derivative just like in product rule you have to find the derivative of ux which is cos remember cos we said it's minus sine x all right then v which is the de derivative of sine which you said it's cos x okay so therefore what is my dy dx that is the derivative of y with respect to x 
all right guys let's just substitute into the formula that we have already written here we said it's vx the first derivative of ux so what is our vx our vx is sin x so we are going to have sin x by the first derivative of u which is the first derivative of u is minus sin x we're going to have minus sin x like this okay minus take note here we have got a minus on the formula here ux what is your ux ux this is your ux which is cos x so it's going to be cos x times the first derivative of what of v this one for v and for v it's cos x so it's cos x like this okay everything over what over vx squared so this is your vx which is sine so it's going to give you sine x you square it okay so what i'm going to have at the end as you can see if you multiply sine and sine this is what is a minus so it's going to give us minus sine squared x minus cos and cos is going to give us minus cos squared x over remember what we did in the previous this is going to be written as what as sine squared x all right but a negative is common here so we can factor out this negative which is going to give us if we factor out this negative we are going to remain with sine squared x plus cos squared x everything over sine x uh, sine squared x like this all right and remember we are going to have something like this minus sine squared plus cos squared remember we said this one gives us a one so it's minus one over sine squared x all right and we know that one over sine x gives us cosec x so if it is sine squared it's going to be cosec squared so this one is going to be minus both this minus there so it's going to be minus cosec squared minus cosec squared x like that so as you can see we have actually proved what they what we are supposed to prove there so that's how actually these questions are asked guys and that is how you answer this question so that's it guys on caution rule so we shall meet again in another class working on now revisions from past exam paper so that we understand or we know how they ask these questions but that is the idea there when you are working with the caution rule uh in relationship also with trigonometry so that's guys from Amazon african motives till we meet again